Good morning. So today we're going to look at a demonstration that I did the other day for my for my year eight. Now the year eight is studying chemical uh, chemistry, and we're looking at chemical and physical change. So we've already done things like taking some paper and tearing it into pieces and dunk it in some water and we've all agreed that those are physical changes it's still the same material but when we set it on fire uh, it obviously had changed into a completely different material which is a chemical change uh, and there are five ways of looking for whether something is chemically changing and you can find those five indicators of chemical change in my recent video on chemical reactions so if you can sort of skip back I think a few weeks ago you can see that video and I go through and what those indicators look like now, for this lesson that you're going to have a look at just now is I'm trying to see if I can trick the students uh, into thinking that maybe it's a physical change when, you know, or, or a chemical change. So I'm going to play the clip for you now and you can enjoy um, and hopefully you have correctly identified whether it's chemical or physical change for yourselves. All right, catch you guys later. Bye. Here I've got an ordinary paper clip. I've tried to find the biggest paper clip I could get. And so I want you to make a prediction. If I put this into the hot flame, will this piece of wire chemically change? No. 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 Well, you reckon no. So let, let's put it to the test anyway. Okay, it went black. And I'm continuing to... It's on fire. Is it on fire though? No. No. Remember in the, in the video about chemical reactions, I said there was five clues to tell if there's if, the, if, if it might be a chemical reaction happening place. So I can clearly see it's changing colour, can you? From, hopefully from that far away. It's going orange, it's glowing now. And if I continue to let it go longer, you know what, it's not hot enough. It's like a steel I'm listening for the flame to get the best result out of the flame. I, if, it, if it can hear that sound, it, it, it gets better. Okay, so it's changing colour to an orange. Now, calcium, I think, goes an orange-yellow colour. Colour change? Yes. So you definitely see a colour. Yeah? Now, it starts off as a white powder. It starts off as a white powder. And as I continue... Maybe I should have used tongs for this. We'll find out. But... Can you see how it still is a white powder? Now, you definitely saw flames oh, coming yeah, off of it, yeah? I can smell it now. Don't breathe it in, but I can smell it. <laughs> this is part of the reason why... Oh, by the way, to the student who lent this to me, to me thank you. It's another question. It's like, it's like a marshmallow. I don't really, really... It, it's like a marshmallow on an extremely hot fire. Oh, I really... So, in. There we go. And now I'm just going to let it cool. Okay. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoy putting the students to the test to see if they can determine whether those experiments were physical or chemical change. If you're really keen, uh, write your response about what you think. You know, for experiments one, two, and three, which ones did you think were chemical change? Which ones were physical change? And also uh, write about what, what clues could you find in the video clips that, uh, that gave you the sense that they could be one or the other. Uh, I'm really curious to see what things you're able to pick up from the videos. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We're not going to force you to, just welcome you to do so if you want to. You can hit the bell icon too if I put up a video in let's say two weeks from now, you won't miss it. Um, if you, uh, I do lots of videos about chemistry, that's my, that's my passion, that's my background. But if you don't like chemistry because it's frustrating where it doesn't make a lot of sense, like if you get overwhelmed from the things like, you know, the, the symbol notation and the why things are this way and not the other way, um, I, I've made a playlist of videos where I've collected some of the videos I've built over the past few years into a, a sequential order where I take you from absolutely the fundamental basics and then build you up to the to stuff that you would uh, you would learn in grade 10 11 and 12 chemistry so if you want to uh, check it out I'll leave a link to the play playlist for you in the descri description below 
and uh, give me some feedback. I'm, I'm continually adding to it and I'm trying to think about what other things my students could possibly need to know to be awesome at chemistry. So if you've got some feedback for me, I'd love to hear it. So until I see you in the next video, I'll see you later. Goodbye.